Hey, we should burn more things. Espoir, you, you, you want to burn some more things? I feel so alive. <laughs> this game contains content that some may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Jeremy. Jeremy, it's your time. It's your time, Jeremy. It's your turn. Jeremy. Jeremy, how do you feel about this? We're going to talk about anime. I'm going to talk about Sailor Moon and Utena and Magical Girls. Do I still have my two knives and my two tasers? Three tasers. I have three tasers now. I have two knives, two whole oven mitts, and three tasers. Just stole Chris's ring. Been carrying around this pizza for like three weeks. <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm spending the night with you. W wait you you really want to spend the night with me i'm not sure why but i won't stop you it's better than spending the night alone mm. 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 i'm sorry i'm not quite sure what to do i'm usually stationed by myself and i'm not good with people maybe next time you should pick someone else no, Jeremy. No, sweet Jeremy. My time will be spent with you. You see a child's toy magnifying glass on the floor. I kind of want that magnifying glass. Pick it up and work with it. You pick up the magnifying glass, and as you do, you also steal Jeremy's hat. Hey! <laughs> what? Why would you... Wait, is that a magnifying glass? It looks almost exactly like Detective Conan's from Case Closed. Maybe, while the night goes on, we can roleplay and pretend like we're the detectives from the show. I mean, the place is haunted, and it's a big mystery surrounding the pizzeria. Oh, Though, maybe that's not such a good idea right now. The animatronics are running around, and as much as I'd love to RP, it's not safe. Well, shift's almost up. The better close up and get ready to head out for the night, huh? Aww. Jeremy is a very odd but timid young man. A part of you hopes that he'll open up to you sooner rather than later. Mm. Jeremy! Jeremy! Oh. You watch as Jeremy slides on a glove and reaches in to pull out a pizza. Ow! Dang it! I can't do anything right. I can't even make a stupid pizza. Why do I even bother coming to w Oh, yeah, that's why. Tell me your secrets, Jeremy. You pull out some bandages you'd prepared before your shift, given how dangerous the facility is. I would say, then why is it still open? But that's like the story of Five Nights at Freddy's, isn't it? Why is it still open? <laughs> Thanks, Espoir. I burnt my hand on the stove trying to get the pizza out. For some reason, I feel like the gloves are just way too thin to actually reach inside and grab anything. Though, they may switch out the gloves on us night guards to discourage us from eating the free pizza they have in there. Oh, that's terrible. Probably wouldn't put it past them, though. Oh, well. Not like I eat much anyways. Now, I could say, but if you get sick, I can't see you, but uh, I won't make you. But you should. Mom instincts kicking in. You better eat, sir. Do I have to call you in the middle of the night to make sure you've eaten dinner? Mm-hmm. It's just as well, anyhow. The night's almost over, and I don't want to waste any food. Some people don't get to eat before they go to bed. So, um, see you tomorrow, Espoir. Jeremy? Jeremy, do you have, do you have some problems at home? Jeremy! Jeremy, the poor kid just seems so sad all the time. Mm. Tomorrow is another day. Jeremy, do I have to adopt you? Do I have to make you my child? Just gotta finish grabbing the rest of my... Espoir? Is that you? D does that mean you picked me for the night? But why? I'm not very... I mean, I'm not brave and... I'm not the best at my job. Heck, I'm not even sure I'm suited to help you out at all. I... <laughs> I, I gotta get you to safety. Come on, to the security room. Did I not pick up his item? 
I hate this job. I can't do it anymore. The only reason I stay here is because of my dad. It's better here than there. And at least when the animatronics beat me, it's because they're stupid robots. I'm so, so sorry, Espoir. I'm so sorry, but I'm done. At this rate, I'd rather the animatronics killed me. I don't want to be alive anymore. I want to die. No, baby! Baby boy, no! I will protect you, Jeremy. Who hurt you, Jeremy? Who hurt you? I'll get them. I'll get them and I'll make them pay. Being alive, it just... It hurts so much, you know? No matter where I'm at, something always wants to hurt me. Or kill me. Is it your dad? Where is he? Where is he? At least, if I'm dead, I won't have to feel this pain anymore. I won't have to worry about my stupid dad or whether I'm going to... Jeremy sobs into your shoulders for quite a while. Please don't let go, Espoir. If you do, I don't know what I might do to myself. Please just hold me for a while longer, just until the pain stops. My baby. My baby boy Jeremy, no. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me, Espoir. I can't help it sometimes. I found out what animatronic needs fixed. It's Chica. If you can patch her up, then I think we might stand a chance of ending this nightmare for good. Please help me one last time. D time to go home? Did I really cry that whole time? I I'm sorry. The rest of my week will be spent with Jeremy. I only hope that we can figure out what's wrong and fix it for good. I think I got sick from yesterday. I don't feel very well. Mm. This isn't good. I'm no match for an uh, angry animatronic like this. You put your hand on his knee and give a reassuring smile, letting him know everything will be all right. Jeremy, Jeremy, there comes a time when you face the toughest of fights, searching for a sign, lost in the darkest of nights. Got to believe, to believe in the power of love. Oh crap, I let my weeaboo slip. <laughs> it seems to ease his nerves because he soon after puts his hand on top of yours and rubs his thumb gently atop your hand. Thanks for the reassurance, Espoir. I'll get better, I promise. Then we can really hunt down the mystery of this place. His face is still sad but there's a glimmer of hope behind his eyes, as if he knows that he can do anything with you beside him. Squeezing her hand a little tighter, he looks down at his other hand and clutches it into a fist and releases it. He does this several times in complete silence. Oh, that's, that's a grounding technique, I believe. I'd have to do it myself a few times. Oh, poor baby, we're gonna go to therapy together. I feel like they're oddly quiet tonight. It's not like them. Do you think they know what we're plotting? Gosh, I sure hope not. You spend the rest of the night watching the monitors with Jeremy, making sure to keep his mind off of whatever worries are running through his head. Poor baby. I, I've been prepared to get through this. I, I know we could do this. I, after all, you... You've got my back, just like I've got yours, right? You smile at the younger man and nod. He seems as though he's made up his mind, although he does appear scared. It's all right. It's all right, Jeremy. This this is the perfect time to be scared. Sh shut up, you you big bully. We're coming for you, and and we're going to fix what's wrong. People are a lot like machines. Sometimes we just need someone or something to help repair what's broken. Uh, uh, let's get looking, Espoir. Oh, it's that time already? Uh, by the way, Jeremy, uh, where's, where's your dad? Where's your dad? I just, I just want to talk to him for a little bit. I just want to, I, I just want to introduce him to a bat. Wow, just like a detective. Uh, amazing. 
very amazing because I did not know that was a door. You, you're broken, just like us. Is that why you smile? You found yourself someone just like you, haven't you? Is that why you're so drawn to him? Do you pity him? Are you dropping lore? I guess I'll find out soon enough. Chica! I knew you'd come eventually. I could tell after you heard what we had to say. You, you're one of those people who can't stand to see another suffer, aren't you? Yeah. That's why you're so drawn to your new friend here. He made you feel needed, like you could help someone. Actually, I just wanted to talk about anime all day. A mutual trust and bond that only friends can share. You, you make it seem like we were both only out to help ourselves. I didn't mean for it to seem that way, but I think that's how all friendships start off. You want to befriend a person to make yourself feel better. Maybe they compliment you, give you gifts, or just waste time on you. Regardless, true friendships never end up staying that way. You find yourself giving more than you want to receive. You want to help more than be helped. Though, when that friendship is truly beautiful, you accept the help. Maybe the friendship I had could have been like that. You give a sad look towards the child before they shake their head. Don't feel sorry for me. It was my fault. Now all I want is to go to sleep. Can you do that for me? Help me rest. Giving one last look at the child, you place the missing chunk of feathers onto Chica before backing away. Thank you. I can go to sleep now, and maybe one day, when I wake up, my friend will want to play with me again. Eh? Uh, lore? It's kinda cool to have a friend that doesn't know a whole lot about anime. Now I can show you all my favorite shows and manga. Then, once you're all caught up, maybe we can save up and go to a con together. I would love that, Jeremy. I've always been kinda scared to go alone. You flip through a few of the books before you find yourself looking at the Detective Conan book, a small smile resting on your face. The pizzeria was a lot like a detective's novel or manga. However, you still weren't completely certain you'd solved the case. There were so many things left unanswered, and you were sure you would never get the full story. Not without help, anyhow. For now, you were happy sitting alongside your faithful friend, reading manga, the nightmare was over. But if you get sick, I can't see you. Oh. Oh. Um. I. I mean. I. I would love to still see you here. I don't want you to worry or, or anything. It's. It's just. I'm. Not all that hungry. You know. I. I'll give this pizza to Fritz. I know he really likes pizza, and it won't go to waste, uh, un unless you want it. I, I mean, if you want to share, or... Uh, uh, uh. Hey, um, you look very pretty. I, I, I mean, um, would you like me to walk you home? Oh, sweet Jeremy. Oh, shiny. There's a small hole in the box, and you open it. You found some antidepressant meds. Jeremy. Are you hiding these? Jeremy, you need to take your medicines. Don't forget to take your medicines. Jeremy, my boy. Oh, Espoir. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to have you catch me crying like this. It's, it's just... I have severe depression, and sometimes it gets to me, a lot of times harder than most. It's usually when I think about losing something I really care about, or when I hear something similar to a voice in my head telling me I'm not worth it. That's the void, Jeremy. We don't listen to the void. I try to fight it. I really do. but. Those words are so hard to fight alone. I will embrace you. Come here. 
Come here, baby. I... I'm so, so sorry, Espoir. I... Every time I think of something bad happening to you, my stomach flips. I can't breathe, and I just start sobbing. You're very important to me. I don't want to lose you. I... I want to become a stronger person. Not just for you, but for me. I want to be strong for both of us, but it's so hard. Sometimes it's so hard I can't even get up in the morning. But when I take my medicine, it doesn't always help. Sometimes it gives me the strength to actually carry out actions I wouldn't normally have the will to do. I want to get better. I just need to figure out how. Never give up, Jeremy. Never give up. Keep moving forward, and know that this feeling will pass. Jeremy seems exhausted. You walk him home before heading home yourself. When you enter the room, the atmosphere already seems vastly different. Jeremy is leaned over the desk, hands planted firmly on either side of his keyboard. He's searching for any trace of the animatronics. As he turns to you, his smile seems genuine and kind. I feel much better today. Thank you so much, Espoir. Thanks for everything yesterday. Perhaps all I needed was someone to notice me. Someone to take the time to help me out of my slump. I'm just glad that person was you. You smile back at him and nod. W well, this is it. Let's fix the animatronic. Let's go put, put them feathers on that chicken. Oh, I gotta get the key first. Hold your horses, you gotta get the key first! Um... Window. Chica took the window! To be honest, I actually have never seen Detective Conan. You came. I hoped, I hoped you, would. you would. You remind, you remind me, me of a person, person I knew so long, so long ago. ago. He used, he used to, to help, help me out when I needed it. it. I was, I was always, always so sad, sad. but now... I've been, I've been waiting, waiting for you to, you to come, come here, here, to come, come and, set and set me free. free. I'm so, so happy, happy that I'll that finally, finally get, to, get rest. to rest. The child turns towards Jeremy a moment before turning back. I, I remember, remember having, a having a close friend. friend. He was a he lot was like you, Espoir. Espoir. He, was he was strong. strong. And he always, he always took care, care of me when I felt bad. bad. I got, I got sick, sick a, lot, a lot, and I needed medicine. medicine. I hated, I hated taking, taking it. it. One day, One day we, got we got into a fight about it. I didn't, didn't want to want take it, it, and he and stormed off. off. I should have I should ran have after him, him, but I yelled, I yelled back, back, telling, telling him, him to go off to Pirate's, Pirate's Cove and hide away, away like he always does. does. I never, I never got, got to see, see him again. again. Looking back on it, I know he only did it because he cared a lot about me, just like you care about Jeremy. I. I... I wanted to get better. If I can't be happy for myself, I can never hope to make Espoir happy. If I want to love someone, I... I have to learn to love myself. I wish I would have thought that way. The child looks at the feather in your hand. It's okay. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to sleep. Giving one last look at the child, you place the missing chunk of feathers onto Chica, before backing away. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Oh. Uh, ah, hey, that tickles. You chuckle as you nuzzle him again. W we'd better head off or we're going to be late. I don't want to miss my therapist appointment. I feel like I've been doing so much better since I've been going, a and afterwards, maybe we can go out on, you know, a date. You smile at the proposition and nod in agreement. It sounded like a great idea. As Jeremy threw on his jacket, you stopped and looked over your shoulder at the bottle of medicine on the table. He'd come a long way from the horrors of the pizzeria a mere few months ago. Perhaps in time, those wouldn't be the only nightmares he could move past. Okay, Fritz. Fritz, it's your turn. Fritzy Poo, it's your turn.
Thankfully, I already have that oven mitt that you just gave me. I have... How many oven mitts do I have? I have three oven mitts! I also have a pizza. It's, it's like, it's like several months old at this point. But I got a, a month old pizza, if you want it. Fritzy Poo, it's your turn. Well, here it is, night one. It's always really slow. I mean, I can understand if you are scared right now, but I honestly wouldn't worry about it too much. They're real sluggish early in the week. You say this like this is just a normal thing. Listen, I'm gonna be blunt here. This job, it sucks. Like, hardcore. I don't know what your contract says exactly, but ours says we can't leave until we either have someone to take our place, our contracts go up, or, well, until we die. I know that sounds like bullcrap, and honestly, it really is, but from what I understand, boss never contracts someone for maintenance longer than a week. Which means you can get out of here before stuff starts to go down and gets a whole lot worse. So, hey, do me a favor, okay? Get out of this mess while you still can. Fritz, you know I can't do that. Look, it's not like I'm not happy to work with you. I just... I really don't want to lose any more friends. This place is really messed up. Honestly, I only joined for the free pizza. And I'm regretting it. Big time. Ugh. I'll save the hug for the romance ending, but right now, you get a- you, you get the pat-pat on the shoulder. The night'll be over soon. Just, please, stay safe, okay? Day. Poor Fritz. He's really worried about you. Even after all the time you've been away. He really is a dear sweet friend, isn't he? Hmm. Fritz! Fritzy poo Dang, Bucket! Is there even one thing in this janitorial area that doesn't have holes in it? I mean, jeez, I can't stand filthy rooms, and for one meant to be for cleaning supplies, it's a gosh darn disaster! Ah, you okay there, friend? Ugh, not really, if I'm honest. I mean, look at this place. It's no wonder the animatronics want to kill everything in sight. If my house looked like this, I'd be mad too. <laughs> that's that's what we really need to do, we just need to clean up the pizzeria. But I guess when your creators don't give a crap, you don't have a choice. Oh, Fritz is kind of pudgy. Oh, he's so cute. Fritz, I'm afraid you might get smooched, sir. Speaking of being stuck in here, I'm surprised to still see you here. Well, I couldn't very well leave my bestie behind. Yeah, same. That's why I hoped you'd leave, dang it. <sighs> but it can't be helped. Come over here and help me clean up a bit. I would be glad to. You spent time cleaning. There. And it's just about time to leave, too. So let's head out. As funny as it is to see Fritz get flustered, you worried about him. <sighs> Tomorrow is another day. Fritz. Fritz, it's your time to shine. You got me. You got me for the rest of the night. Oh my gosh, he's so cute! He's so cute! Oh no! Hey, I was hoping to see you again before I left. After all, I won't really get to see you much after this, will I? Hmm? Hmm? Wait. Did you pick me? I mean, I'm super happy. I just figured after you saw all the other guys... I was sure you would go off with Vincent because he seems really your type. If you hung out with them, you wouldn't be interested in hanging out with me anymore. Who are you, Ashton? <laughs> I mean, I seriously thought you might actually grow to really like one of them, you know? Sure, they're loud and they can be obnoxious, but they're all really great guys. Even Vincent, just, uh, don't tell him I told you that. Hmm. And that's the signal it's time to go to the office. It's gonna start getting really crazy around here. Are you sure you're good with staying with me? You nod your head in agreement. Alright, it's settled then. I'll be helping you out from here on out. Though, we've got one major problem. Out of the three days you've already been here, do you even have the slightest clue as to which animatronic needs repaired? 
You shake your head, softly. Dang, and it's too dangerous to actually leave and search for which... Ah, it's that one again. That one? Golden Freddy. The guys and me, we thought it was just an illusion. But what if the animatronic that needs fixed isn't actually in a suit? Man, that's going to make things a lot more difficult for you, isn't it? Oh well, we'll manage. We always have, even back in school. Don't worry, I've got your back, Espoir. I always have, and I forever will. Oh, you're gonna get smooched on your cheeks, sir! Looks like we've got a bear to hunt tomorrow. Oh, we're we going after Golden Freddy this time? So this is it. We're going on a bear hunt. The biggest problem we're gonna have is where exactly to find him. He teleports all over the place, and we rarely ever see the guy in the security room. It's usually more towards Fridays, so we may have to wait till tomorrow, when his power is at its strongest, you know? You smile at Fritz as the man looks at you. A bit of his confidence seems to rub off in his grin. We need a game plan for tomorrow, though. Question is, how do we go about it? There's gotta be a way to catch the stupid bear. You don't have a clue, but again, you trust Fritz's opinion as he thinks. We just gotta think about this like when we were in school. Remember running D&D campaigns and designing traps for the unlucky? <laughs> well, I figure it's gotta be similar, so let's get to work. I've got tongs, I've got two tasers, I've got three knives, I've got a whole pizza. There's gotta be something we can do with that. Look here! We can see the guy in the camera. It's no wonder we never really saw him. It looks like that stupid bear makes his hideaway back in the back of the store. Problem is, it's always locked, and I don't know where the key is. We may have to go searching for it. Last I saw, it was somewhere near the storage closet. But, you know, I never really paid close attention to where the manager puts things. I'm always so tired after my shift. It's alright, friend. I know where it is. As you turn the key, the latch is undone. However, the old key breaks and is now useless. I could expect no less from you. Alright, let's get that bear. What's up with that bear? You brought a friend to play with you. I used to have a dear friend. He got hurt one day while we were playing. We'd gotten into a fight, and after I screamed at him, he ran off. I never saw him again, or at least... He never, he never saw, saw me. me. I, wonder I wonder if he, if he remembers, remembers me. me. Has, Has he forgotten, forgotten me completely? Was so that Mike she's talking about? Ugh. So, this is where she's been hiding the whole time. We should fix her before she turns hostile. I won't attack you. I just I want, just to, want sleep. to sleep. You know, you know what, what it's, it's like, like to want to, to want sleep, to sleep and feel better? better? I don't, I don't want, want to be awake, awake anymore. anymore. To dream, to dream of what, what happened, happened to us so long ago. I just, I just want, want to feel to better. better. I want I to want see to my see best, best friend, friend again. again. Your best friend, huh? You sense a sort of kinship between the spirit and Fritz in that moment. How long had Fritz been waiting to see you again? Aww. Yes, yes I, miss I miss him so much. much. He was the was best, the best friend, friend a kid could ask for. for. But, but I got him angry, angry and we and fought. We fought. I never, I never got to tell him I was sorry. sorry. I, just I just want to want tell him how sorry I am. Please, can you do that for me? Fritz, you know him. Please tell him for me. Fritz gives a solemn nod of agreement before looking at you, but you don't have anything to repair the Golden Freddy with. I feel so much lighter now, knowing that he'll know how sorry I am. I remember eating pizza with him, and he'd get it all over his foxy costume. He <laughs> A slore. I think I can rest now. Thank you. Oh, Fritz, you're gonna get smooched and squeezed. Man, this is so much better than the pizza back at the pizzeria. <laughs> I love how the cheese just stretches on forever. You smile as you take another bite of pizza laughing and joking about how the cheese probably isn't even real cheese back at the workplace. 
Hmm. Fritz puts down his pizza before he looks at you, wiping his face with his sleeve. I'm really glad you showed up again, Espoir. It's been so long since I've seen you, and I always wondered if you ever thought about me as much as I did you. It's... it's good to have you back. Did we leave that job? It'd probably be nice for all of us to just walk out. You clasp your hand against him as you nod. While the events of the nightmare were now over, you knew that your friendship with Fritz could only grow stronger with time. Okay, so I, I quickly want to see what Fritz's bad ending is. And then we'll get the super happy ending. But first, I want to see what his, his bad ending is. You could feel your ears ringing. You just walked into the pizzeria and your mind was spinning. But you had still managed to get to the security room with some form of difficulty. Why was it so hard? You couldn't tell. Hey there, Espoir. Ugh. Man, my head hurts. It was odd for Fritz to have the same problem you were having. Maybe it was the air in the place. Mm -hmm. You were sure it had at least four different types of disgusting mold in its walls. I was searching for the Golden Boy himself, but... Uh, I think I got a headache while I was waiting for you and... W wait what? <laughs> I... I can't... No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't look away. What? What? We told you what would happen if you stayed. We told you what would happen if you helped them. Now you'll join us. Now you'll play the game till the end of time. No, I don't want to play Five Nights at Freddy's forever. I don't want to be Markiplier. I was worried about you. I don't want you hurt. And you think I don't want to see you safe? I told you, this place is crap, but you're still here, and I don't get it. My life isn't on the line as much as yours is, and now, now, I gotta worry about your hide and mine. It's just, it makes my job a lot harder, okay? Now I gotta stay up late at night and worry about- Listen, you're not off the hook just cause you thought you could be cute. I'm walking you home, and we're having a long talk. Oh, what a good friend. You frown as you look into the trash and grab a photo inside. You found an old school photo. Oh. It's a photo of you and Fritz back when you went to school together. Fritz, why was this in the trash? Oh, hey, Espoir. I was just thinking about you. I was thinking about when we were in school and how much I miss those days. It was so much easier than working here. We were inseparable then. Then, after so many years, you finally come back, you know? And now you're in trouble. All because of a stupid wish. A wish? I wish you'd come back so I could tell you all the things I never did. You know, I was never interested in sex or physical contact, but whenever you held my hand or gave me a hug, I always felt so warm. I'm I'm still not interested in any of that, but I still want to be with you, if you don't mind how distant I can be. You give a smile and hug Fritz tightly, receiving a kiss on the cheek in return. I may not do this often, but I promise, when I do it, I mean it. Aww. Fritz is dependable, you know that and knowing he's always at your side makes it all the more sweet. I've got good news. I've managed to track down where our fuzzy compadre is. And he's in the back of the store. Now all we need is the key, which if my memory serves me right, it should be over by the storage area. I don't know where, though. Fritz looks over at you, a smile crossing his lips. Let's finish this. Fred Bear! Fred Bear! It's scary, it's scary to be alone, without, without the person, person you care, care about, about most. most. What, what would you would do, you do if, if you made a mistake, mistake and hurt the person you loved most? most. I'm, scared I'm scared he'll hate me forever. forever. You, you, you've you come to help to me help go, to, go sleep, to sleep, aren't you? you. I'm, so I'm so very, very tired. tired. I, I was hoping we'd have a way to fix you, but 
There's honestly nothing I can think of that'll fix you. You don't actually have a suit. You're just a ghost. You frown as you nod your head, looking at the saddened look on Fritz's face. I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling at my friend. I'm sorry for making him mad. I'm sorry for getting him hurt. I never got to tell him that I liked him, that I think I really, really liked him. He was my best friend, and now I'll never see him again. I tried to keep him safe for so long, for so many nights. There were times when I couldn't move the next day because I'd try so hard to keep him safe. If you could tell him, tell him I'm sorry, please. Fritz's face is contorted in a pained understanding as he nods to the ghost. Thank you. Thank you so much. Knowing that, I think I can finally go to sleep. Goodbye. And thank you again. Oh. See, I told you, Fritz. I told you you were gonna, gonna get that smooch. Aw, dang it, Espoir. I'm trying to make us some dinner. Keep surprising me like that, and I'll burn it or cut myself. You chuckle a bit as you lean over the counter and watch what he's doing. Your relationship is almost the same as it always was, only... You'll be married in a few months. Best ending. Best ending right there. Barbie. Barbie, it's your turn. Barbie! Oh, hello there, Espoir. It's lovely to see you. <gasps> Wait, shouldn't you be with the others? What brings you to my office? Did you have a question of some sort? I'm always happy to answer anything you may be inquiring. Uh, do you enjoy being a manager? It's a hard job, but I do enjoy being able to help my employees. After all, I only have so much time to get to know them before I take over as the owner. I don't really believe that our animatronics are evil like everyone suggests. And I don't really believe that the place has people breaking in, since I don't really see evidence of it. I just... I really want to help people out. I want to find out what's happened to our co-workers, and just... Sorry, I didn't mean to rant to you, dear. You just have a good rest of your night, and come see me if you need anything, alright? Mm -hmm. You leave the office, and Barbie, and you can't help but wonder, what is harming the Night Watch? Hmm. Well, certainly couldn't be haunted animatronics. Well, hello there again. Fancy seeing you here. I just finished up a bit of paperwork, and I was hoping for some company. Barbie opens a desk drawer and places the papers in her hands into the drawer before closing it up. With a soft sigh, she returns her gaze to you, her pink orbs never leaving yours. So, I'm sure you've noticed the blood around the building, correct? It's hard to miss. Some of the employees... I honestly have no idea where they've gone, but I can feel it in my heart that they're still in here, somewhere. I kind of figured it was bad. That obvious. Maybe... No. I have to keep trying. I'll figure out what happened to everyone, and then everything will go back to normal. I don't think it ever will, Barbie. Oh, uh, I've kept you too long. You have a good day, dear. Sleep well. Barbie is staring intently at some documents, sweat rolling down her forehead. She seems very distressed as she flips through one after another, her speed never halting as she skims through the pages. No, not this one. She fumbles through more papers. Dang it! There's gotta be something I can do! Papers flitter to the floor as Barbie swipes her hand across the table. Uh oh I didn't know you came in here, Espoir. I'm sorry you had to see that. There's an awkward silence between you as she sits down and takes a deep breath. She looks stressed. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I just need to think. Sorry about everything. I just... I don't know what to do. You give a gentle smile and let Barbie know you're willing to help. No, that's fine, dear. You just do what you've been paid to do. 
You must have so much work on your hands right now, repairing the broken bits on those old things. Really, I'm just kind of fixing their costumes at this point. It must be such a hassle right now. I've got this. Don't worry. You just run along for now, okay? The rest of my week will be spent with Barbie. Does she even know that? She, she kind of doesn't seem to know that. I only hope that she'll let me help her out. Barbie, Barbie, what do you need? As you step into Barbie's office, you smell the faint smell of... Cookies? Ma'am, do you have cookies? Hey there, Espa. I tried my hand at making some of my dad's famous sugar cookies today. There seems to be a solemn tone to the air, creating an almost deathly stillness. Her eyes are sad as she stares down at the treats in front of both of you. I never knew my real father, so Scott has been my dad since I was a little kid. <gasps> he was looking into the events here way before I was, wondering where all our employees were going. But he'd come on the weekends. I guess according to de er, Scott, this place gets more dangerous as the week goes on. My father was hoping to see whom that person, or event, that was causing such a ruckus was, and... Hmm. He didn't tell anyone. I could have come with him. Scott could have. Even Vinny. I would have helped. I don't care how little I was. He'd been in ICU the last time I got to see him, and the damage done to his body was so severe, he finally just... Barbie's quiet for a very long time. After my father passed, Scott told me something very important. He told me not to be afraid to ask for help. I think it's because my father was too stubborn to ask when he needed it most. Tears begin to swell in the other's eyes as she swallows them down. So, Espoir, I can't ask my best friend to help me. I just can't. He's already seen too much of this place. He's already got nightmares because of what... Espoir, will you help me? Will you please help me put an end to everything that's been going on here? I can't... I can't trust anyone else if it isn't you. Please? Placing a gentle hand atop the others, you give a nod, letting her know there's no shame in asking a friend for help. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Huh? There's a letter from Barbie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I asked, I asked you for help, for help but I but can't I stand, stand dragging you into this mess. this mess. It would break my heart if anything happened to you, so I've decided to do this alone. I don't need your assistance any longer, so please, just go home. Sincerely, Barbie. Barbie? Where could she have gone? Maybe in the back of the building. <gasps> Wait, did I get her bad end? Did I not get her papers? Barbie! Hey! No! I thought I already had her papers. You see Barbie mangled in a mess on the floor, her eyes wide with terror. Wait, what? You feel a sharp pain in your back as you crumple to the floor. What? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Looks like I've got more work to do. Ouch! Yeah, that's, that's an understatement. Honestly, have no idea where they've gone, but I can feel it in my heart that they're still in here, somewhere. On the bright side, you're looking. Barbie smiles at you with a warmth in her eyes. Yeah, I'm looking for them. I'll find them too, if it's the last thing I do. So, I have an honest question. When you lay in bed, do you, you know, just not stop thinking? When I lay in bed, I have half the world swirling through my head, and some days, I feel like there's no way I could get to sleep. 
I think about all the things I need to do, all the people I need to talk to and hug. I need to let them know I care about them, and then there's the complete strangers I've never met, and the ways I want to help them. Sometimes it hurts, knowing there's only so much I can do. Is that unhealthy? No. Okay, so let me just grab this. There's a piece of paper here. Read it. It's some sort of will, stating that the one on the paperwork will inherit the pizzeria. It's a non-legal copy, so you tuck it away for now. Is there anything I can do? I... I don't know. You're such a kind person, Espa. I'm just so stressed. All the time. I have so many workers to worry about, and between that and working late into the night, I guess... It just got to me. I'll be okay, though. I can do this. I have to. No one else here is qualified to do the things I do, and if I don't do it, then... Who knows who will die next? I can't let that happen. You pat Barbie on the back, rubbing your hand lightly to reassure her. She pulls away, wiping the tears from her eyes. Sorry about everything. I just... I don't know what to do. You ask for help, baby girl. You give a gentle smile and let Barbie know you're willing to help. No, that's fine, dear. You just do what you've been paid to do. Barbie is clutching her hands tightly to her chest. She takes in shallow breaths as she prepares herself for the night. I'm glad I have someone I can trust, Espoir. I admit I can be kind of self-assured, and I don't usually ask people for help. It's not that I find it to be a weakness or anything. Ma'am, I know exactly where you're coming from. Don't do that. I'm always worried that when I do need help, if I ask for it, it'll be too much for another person to handle. <coughs> and then, they'll leave. I don't want you to leave me too, so I... Just wanted to tell you that thanks for being such an amazing friend. Now let's find whatever fiend is hurting people at night and finish them for good. You see that look in their eyes? She's, she's gonna cut somebody. Barbie's gonna cut you. No worries. I have a key that can unlock the counter. I hope that's a duplicate key and not the one covered in blood that I've been finding throughout this game. Ooh. This place smells like blood. Where's the ghost child? My god, has someone been slaughtering people right under my nose? No, it's not that. It's that I was too afraid, too scared to figure out the truth. So, I ignored it. But not anymore. Today, I'm going to find out what's really going on. Boom. Barbie looks confused as she rubs her eyes a bit and stares at the ghost in front of her. Meanwhile, the ghost gives a soft smile as he looks from her to you and nods. Is that your dad? Is that your father? <laughs> Little Barbie doll? Wow, you sure have grown a lot since I last saw you. You look just like your mother. Barbie looks confused as she stares at the man in front of her, as if she's trying to grasp who he is. I've been here, trying to calm the spirits of all the children that have been cooped up in this building for a long time. Unable to pass on. Always restless. Though it's not their fault, Barbie. Please don't hold it against them. It's the men who caused the whole mess that's to blame. The only thing you can do to put us to rest is to burn the place down. I know it's what you've wanted all along, and please, just do it. Don't worry about holding on to this place. I'll be in a better place once it's gone. I... I'm sorry, but... who are you? You look familiar, but... I used to be a father once. But, but not, not anymore. anymore, and I hope I that hope I was a good, was a good one. one. 
But now that title belongs to a very dear friend of mine, and I can't thank him more for what he's done for you. Tell him, I said, thank you. <gasps> it's as if Barbie has a sudden realization as she stands there, not sure how to react. Take care, Barbie. You're doing well. A few weeks later... Boy, that fire we set sure was pretty cool. Hope we don't get locked up for arse, arson -y. Arson? I'm really glad you decided to stick with me. I told you I'd get you a much better job after everything was said and done. <laughs> Barbie looks so much happier as you sit down beside her, her eyes glimmering with happiness. It's odd. You never thought you'd see someone so happy after committing arson on their own building. <laughs> Hey, we should burn more things. Espoir, you, you, you want to burn some more things? I feel so alive. <laughs> uh, that man from the pizzeria. I know who he was. He was my father. But I feel bad. I didn't feel sad that I lost him, or that I didn't know him. Because how can I miss someone I never knew? But rather... I felt sorry for him as a person, the fact he'd been trapped there for so long. You give a nod as she smiles at you. Well, we have plans to meet up with Mike and Scott for lunch, so how about we head out? Hey there, Espoir. She greets you with the same words, but her tone is almost lifeless. Barbie. Barbie, what's the matter? Sorry, I'm just a little out of it. Setting the picture on the table, you can see it's a picture of Scott, holding what looks like a miniature Barbie on his shoulders. That's me and Scott. He's been with me for as long as I can remember. There's a light chuckle from Barbie's throat as she wipes away a few stray tears. I was about six years old when my father died. It was after that freak accident in the pizzeria. He wanted to stick around after hours and find out who could do such a thing to kids. Barbie is visibly shaking as she continues her tale. I guess they found him crammed into one of those animatronic suits we have on stage, blood coating the floor. He was just barely alive when the medics arrived. He lived for five whole nights in ICU before he finally passed away. And after that, Scotty took care of me and raised me, though he never truly adopted me. I like to hope he thought of me as his own. If I'm completely honest, I don't remember my father much. I don't... I don't want to lose Scott. Espoir, I can't lose the only parent I've ever gotten to know. Please, I've been terrified to ask for help, but now I'm so desperate and I'm so, so scared. I don't want anything to happen to Scott. Please... Help me. You give a nod as you run your fingers through her hair. I've been trying to stay quiet about the whole mess for so, so very long. I've wanted to tell someone about how this terrible place makes me feel. I get so sick looking at the place, I just want to burn the whole thing to the ground. Hmm, that seems like a very interesting idea. And to make matters worse, I... I'm such an idiot. How can someone fall in love in just four days? I love you, and whether it's platonic or romantic, I don't care. I just know I do. Oh, Barbie. You nod into Barbie's hair as you listen, until her pleas turn into sobs. This nightmare has to end. In fire! Barbie is nowhere in sight. Where could she be? Uh, let go of me! Barbie! She sounds like she's in trouble. <gasps> wait, what? Oh, wait. Wait, who are you? Wait, what? It's a ghost fight. Let her Let go. Her go. Now. now. <laughs> oh, but that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? After all, she's such a pretty little face. It would be a shame to just... Let her keep on living. I said, I said, let her, let her go. go. You've stumbled across one of the oddest scenes, 
and Barbie is in trouble right in the middle of it. Who are you? Wait, who are you? You know, I'm just gonna let this play out. Seems we have company. Hello there, dear. Sup, brah? Get your hands off my girlfriend. I- can I show a ghost the hands? Care to step in for your little lover here instead? Oh, but then again, the double suicide route is always so much more appealing to the tabloids. And if you're both dead, you can't necessarily say they're wrong. You're a piece of poo, aren't you? Barbie looks terrified as she tries to struggle. She attempts to kick, bite, and get away, but despite the ghost having enough physical form to hold her, she can't damage him. <laughs> I'm only half corporeal and you can't do anything to me. That said, I'm getting the Ghostbusters. Balling your fists up, your hand hits something in your pocket. The silver watch. Silver. Sure, why not? Silver? If the tales about silver were true, you're gonna smack him with a watch? <laughs> oh, I knew you'd like that play. <clears throat> what are you- <sighs> You could feel the drips of sweat lace down your back as you hold the item to the spirit. Oh, I thought you were gonna just take it and slap him with the wa- the- the wrist part. The band part. I- <laughs> uh, thank you, Espoir. The other ghost is smiling. You always, always knew how, how to, to pick, pick good, good friends, friends, Barbie. Barbie. It's good, it's to, good see. to see, you, you still, still do. do. Looks like Looks Espoir like here did, did what I couldn't, I couldn't do. So, so thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for you saving Barbie. Barbie. Who are you? I'm, I'm just, just a, father, a father, looking, looking to, rest to rest easy. easy. Me and the, Me children, and the children that roam these, these halls will be able to rest in peace. peace. Now that now that, that malevolent that beast, beast is gone. The ghost looks almost sad as he begins to disappear. Goodbye, Goodbye, my little my Barbie, Barbie doll. doll. <laughs> How's my cute pudding pie today? Feeling pretty good after that rousing, uh, arson. Barbie was quick to pick up on pet names once you two were officially dating. On one hand, they were adorable, but on the other hand, why were you always named after sweets? I just wanted you to know, I finished up all that paperwork for the building. It's remodeled. I finished all the business I had to take care of, and now... I bought something nice and lacy if you want to see it. Barbie, please, I don't want to move this game to my adult Patreon. Just meet me in the bedroom in ten minutes. With that, she swung her hips as she headed to the bedroom. One thing was for certain. She may be a lady in the streets, but dang, was she a freak in the sheets. <laughs> Oh no, Barbie, you've been spending too much time around Vincent. He's given you notes. Also, did we not do arson? Aw, no arson. Aw, pack it up, everybody. There's no arson.